So today we have an exciting tool to look over. This is the Kershaw A100, but is it really? This is actually the Craftsman version. So Kershaw made this for the Craftsman as well. I got this at a steal. These are $250. You heard right, $250 used on eBay. This one right here I got for around $60, $50 or so. So very excited about this tool. Now, one of the very cool things about this tool is it came out two years before the Leatherman Crunch, one year before the Leatherman Wave. It has some very groundbreaking technology on it, according to Multitool Encyclopedia, wiki multitool Org. So really appreciate that article online talking about it helps you realize some things about this tool. So let's open it up, get started. So here we have, I believe, according to this article, this is one of the first locking plier multi-tools in the modern era. So I don't want to say ever because a lot of times when you look back in the 50s, 60s, perhaps even a lot earlier, some of these multi-tools did exist. We just really didn't know about it. So this is one of the first ones in the modern era, full two, two years before the crunch. I really like it because it's very easily accessible to just basically whip it out of the pouch. The pouch was a pretty nice Velcro pouch, very simple belt loop right here, but very minimalist. Reminds me sort of of the flashlight pouches, sheaths we have today. But you could whip this out of the pouch. It was very slim. Go ahead, basically start your work with it. So very cool right here. Now, with a crunch, it does take some setup time. Now, obviously, some of you have gotten very proficient at it, but if you don't use the Leatherman Crunch, which is right here in comparison, then that is a disadvantage. Now, the Leatherman Crunch, obviously, the huge advantage was that it was folding. It was a much smaller package, so a lot of people really love that. So on the Kershaw A100, one of the very cool things about it is that it does have an outside opening one-handed knife. So this will actually be one of the first times this is available on, again, modern multi-tools. So very cool right here. So keep in mind that the next year, the original Leatherman Wave comes out. It is groundbreaking in that it has four outside tools, but the year before, the Kershaw had already come out with some similar technology. But obviously, Leatherman was genius in taking the design features to the next level. All right, so we've got those features. We've got this, this handle lock right there. You can open it up right there. Then we do also have this right here that unlocks it. So for instance, let's go ahead, get a little bit of plastic out here. Let's hope I don't break this. Let's, okay, tighten it up a little bit. Ah, lock it on right here. And then this lever right here unlocks your vice grip portion. So that's how that works. Pretty cool right there. Now, one of the things I have to say is I love these tools that are made in the U.S. This one especially feels, it just feels better quality. There's something about it. Some of these, the metal seems heavier. It just seems to be a lot better made. There's not a bunch of weird angles and edges necessarily. It seems very well put together. So opening this up, we have some more tools on the inside. So what we have right here is we have a screwdriver. Not anything super exciting about that, but it is a little bit wider than some, so that's pretty nice. Now, I found this tool fairly interesting. This is more of a hacksaw. This is like a metal saw, but this is not replaceable. This is, you know, an implement that stays in the handle, obviously. So I thought that was an interesting choice to put a metal saw in here, but it makes sense if you're using the vice grip, probably a lot of times you are working with metal. Then we have a file, which again, makes a lot of sense if you're working with metal. 
Then we do have the can opener as well. And then we have a unique Phillips screwdriver. Now this Phillips screwdriver, essentially they just have this big piece of metal and then they just stick this almost 3D Phillips screwdriver on the end. So again, this tab does get in the way a little bit as some people have noticed, but you do have this longer Phillips screwdriver. So pretty cool right there. Now, none of these inside tools are locking, so keep that in mind, but this outside tool does have uh, this locking mechanism right there. So really like this tool. One more unique feature to point out is that the A100 has no hard wire notch. So it does have this wire, these wire cutters, but they are only soft wire cutters. So that is definitely a little different than some other multi-tools out there. Very, very nice. Very minimalist. Now it is a little bit longer than most people are used to comes around six and a half inches long or about 16 and a half centimeters long. So it is a fairly long tool. So let's look at the crunch, just compare this a little bit. So with the crunch, and again, it's been a little while since I, I've used my crunch. Again, with the prices so high, I'm a little scared to use it, to be honest. <laughs> In case I break it, could never get it back. But here we go. We've got the crunch right here. So it doesn't take that long to get the implements out. But you can see the crunch is significantly shorter than the A100. So we that's that. Then with the crunch, we do have a little bit of a different tool set. We have the serrated blade. We have the more normal Phillips screwdriver right there. We do have the file. The screwdrivers do seem a little bit smaller, but it is a little bit of a different tool set there as well. But the crunch does have the advantage in that it is more pocketable, but the Kershaw, I believe has the advantage in that it is more easily to use right out of the sheath. So there's, I guess there's two schools of thought on that. You can decide which you prefer. Now the Kershaw again has more of a needle nose, the crunch more of a blunt nose really. So again, a little bit of a different design there. We do see the ruler markings on the Kershaw right here. We do see the ruler markings on the crunch right here as well. Both of these very cool tools, neither of them available anymore. So both of these, I think I've seen on eBay for well over $200. Anytime you see either of these for under $100, it's a good deal. So if they're $60, $70, $80, buy them up. It's a great deal. Again, the crunch, I think it was about $120, was it, before it was discontinued? Somewhere around there, $130, $150. So anything under that, again, is a pretty good price. I used to see this fairly consistently, I think for $150, but now it is now gone up in price as well. All right, let me know if you've experienced with either of these tools, which you prefer, what do you think? Is the Kershaw A100, is that a design that should be brought back? Or is the Crunch still the best design out there?